Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. I want to welcome uh, honorable delegates from uh, from a Muslim countries OIC group. Uh, we feel that this is a very important time uh, for the Muslim world because um, never has it happened that eight million people have been uh, locked inside illegally, unconstitutionally, for 50 days. It's the 51st day, day today. And uh, the only reason they are locked up is because they are Muslims. The Hindu Kashmiris are not locked up. It's only the 8 million Muslim Kashmiris that are, that are locked up and are suffering for 50 days. And uh, what we expect, well, from the international community, we expected much more of a response than, unfortunately, than the response they came up with. And I keep saying that had there been uh, 8 million Europeans or 8 million Christians or Jews, how would the world community have reacted? And uh, in this case, unless we, the Muslims, speak for these uh, people of Kashmir, where there is straightforward state, state terrorism, 900,000 Indian troops are locking in these uh, uh, 8 million Kashmiris. And, and unfortunately, again, I repeat, there is a, the world has a problem when it comes to human rights violations of Muslims. And if uh, all the, to oppress Muslims and get rid of all their human rights, all you have to do is utter the magic uh, phrase, Islamic terrorism. The moment you say Islamic terrorism, no one cares about human rights, no one cares about legality. And so, <clears throat> The idea of uh, uh, the discussion today was that we should uh, just uh, come up with some sort of a plan how we can uh, stand up for the 8 million Kashmiris under siege. So this is really we invited you tonight. And uh, during the time of uh, these next few days, three days of the UNGA, we hope that we can come up with some sort of a strategy to prick the conscience of the world, make them understand that this is, uh, they're human beings, not animals, who've been locked inside their houses. Old, young, children, uh, sick people, all of them, no hospitals functioning, children not going to school. And uh, Narendra Modi, who's the architect of this, uh, state terrorism, he's walking around as if, uh, you know, he's some sort of uh, heading the world's biggest democracy. Which democracy allows this, this nonsense to its own citizens? And it's, the Kashmiris are not even citizens of, uh, of um, India. They are, it's a disputed territory according to the United Nations resolution.